This will be a guide on how to set up the VPN Scylla client for some Android phones. Most phones can use the default settings, which are listed on our wiki page at support.uacron.edu. Once again, that's support.uacron.edu. Um, but some phones, mainly Samsung devices, do seem to have problems with our default setup. So today I'm going to show you how to go about changing the VPN client. Step one is you're going to want to go over to the Play Store and search for the client. It's called VPN Scylla, so that's V-P-N-C-I-L-L-A. And pull that up. I'm going to suggest that you use the free trial version first, just to make sure that it does what you need it to do and works. That way you don't pay for it and then just later find out it won't do what you need. So go ahead and install it. It'll give you the permissions it needs. Uh, look at that, and if that's okay with you, just hit accept. Give it a second here to download and install itself. And once that's done, go ahead and just hit open. It's going to give you the license agreement. Read through it, make sure it's okay. I've already looked through it earlier, so just hit okay and it'll ask you to name your connection. I'm just going to choose Akron. You can really type in whatever you would like. I just think Akron is the easiest and more, most direct. And that will bring you up to this page. The top setting for the VPN server address. This is going to be vpn.uacron.edu. Just like that. And hit OK. The group ID for the second option is going to be ZipNet with a capital Z and hit OK. The group password is just going to be Zippy, all lowercase, Z-I-P-P-Y and hit OK. Your username is going to be your MyAkron ID and then your password is going to be your MyAkron password. I have mine saved to the clipboard so I don't have to type it in. So I'm just going to hit paste. You can just go ahead and type yours in and then hit OK. Don't change anything further down here. Uh, most of these settings will stop our VPN from working on your phone. The only two you could easily change are the auto reconnect and the vibrate. I just personally like them both checked. That's totally up to you. But once you have these top settings changed for the server addresses and passwords, Go ahead and just press the back button on your phone, and that'll bring you here to the VPN page. Just go ahead and tap the icon for the VPN you set up. And there you go, you're connected. Uh, your phone might ask you if you trust the connection. Go ahead and just say yes for trusting the connection. And that will get you all set up and ready to go with our VPN. Uh, one thing some people might want to do is to set up a shortcut for it. So go to your home screen and long press, bring up this and go to your widgets. This might be a little different on some phones, but for the most part, they are the same. Go ahead and just swipe through all your installed widgets to the very end, or at least to the V's if you have a lot near the end. And take the VPN Scylla client right here and stick it anywhere on your desktop. And you might get this message, don't worry about it, just hit OK. That's just because I've had it installed and uninstalled it before. And once you're there, just choose the connection you want to have a shortcut for, and there you go. Then you can just tap this little icon, and that'll pull up the app right away and start connecting you. If you're anywhere else in your system and you want to get back to the VPN app, just pull down Tap on that, that'll bring you right here, and you can just choose to disconnect. That should do it for any of you. If you have any questions, please give us a call at 330-972-6888, or just bring your device into our help desk at the main floor of Beer's Library.